Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Cash, and today we're going to talk about buying trucks, how to buy them, why to buy them, and the goal of owning them. That's right. So let's talk about it. Today, I want to go over some options here. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about their lease purchases they're doing on YouTube. And, um, you know, they're doing those through mega carriers, you know, the, the Prime Inks and the SFI type things. And it gave me a lot of thought. And uh, I thought I'd put it all in a video here for you. I've got a lot of experience. I bought several trucks over my life. Uh, some of them I've done good. Some of them I've not done so good. But overall, I've had a few titles in my life. And, uh, you know, so I kind of know what I'm talking about a little bit here. Had some success. So I just want to give you that knowledge. Now, the key thing to this is, is you're going to take this with a grain of salt because nobody preaches the gospel on YouTube that's perfect for you. You have to figure out what's the right way to do it for you and figure out what's right for you in business because ultimately you will be the one having to live with these decisions. So don't ever put it off on someone else and say, well, I only did it because so-and-so said to do it. That's that's not a good not a good way to do it. Uh, you got to own your you got to own your decisions, and know that you made those decisions. So you want to do what's right for you. That's what I recommend. Okay. Now, one thing I would like to throw out there, you know, I see all these people going to mega carriers and getting those trucks through the mega carriers. Uh, it really throws me off when I see people doing that because that's a very expensive way to own a truck. It's a very uh, controlled way to own a truck. And let's face it, how many people get a title from a mega carrier as a percentage of people who, who are all bright eyed and bushy tailed and just ready and raring to go. And then six months later, they hate the mega carrier. They hate the situation. They ain't making no money. They're not happy. Let's try to avoid that. That's what I'm here for. We're trying to, we're trying to get you to think of all your options and to know you have options, okay? As a truck driver, you always have options, okay? Now, uh, instead of going to Mega Carrier, let's talk about an easy option. Let's talk about just going to Lone Mountain and getting a truck, okay? Lone Mountain, it's not a commercial for Lone Mountain, but I will tell you, it's a pretty easy process. I went through it. I never actually went and got the truck because right before I went to get my Lone Mountain truck, I found a truck that I could afford cash, and I went and bought that truck cash. Now, whether that was a good idea or not, <laughs> to, uh, probably not. I bought the cash truck. I shouldn't say it was a bad idea. I mean, hell, I paid like $20,000 for a truck that I put over 200,000 miles on. I made plenty of money with that old truck. You know what I mean? Not a bad truck. It was a 2014 Cascadia. Uh, it had an APU on it. Uh, it was not a bad truck. I just had to, toward the end of its life, I didn't let it go. You know what I mean? I got... I got emotionally attached to a truck, and, and we'll talk about that more in the video, so stick around if you want to know more about my ideas on getting emotionally attached to a truck, because I've done it, and I got my heart broken, and I'll tell you the story here in a minute. So, you go to Lone Mountain, the process over there at Lone Mountain is this, basically, okay? Lone Mountain wants two times the down payment in a bank account. That's basically what they want. They want your CDL, they want your driving history. And they, they want twice the down payment in a bank account because they want to know you got a little bit of money in case that truck breaks down. You're not just going to immediately walk away from it. OK, that's all they want. They're a pretty, pretty reasonable uh, place. You're not going to get the truck as cheap as if you went and bought it yourself because they're taking on a lot of risk with these trucks. OK, the way they do it. It's just the way it is. OK, so let's talk about why someone would go mega carrier versus Lone Mountain. As Lone Mountain makes it easy, the mega carrier makes it even easier. Yes. You walk in there and go, uh, I got a pulse and a CDL, baby. Give me the new, give me that brand new new. I want the new new. And they'll give it to you, by golly. Let me tell you, they'll give it to you. For a thousand dollars a week for five years, they'll give it to you. Mm, right down there. That's what they're gonna give it to you. They're gonna do just like I did. They're gonna go. They're going to they get, you, get you way down underneath. They got you, dog. <laughs> Any way they want it. Any way they're going to flip you. They're going to flop you. It's just a bad way to be, in my opinion. When a mega carrier's got you pinned down for $1,000 a week, son, mm, mm, 
they're going to charge you for the grease on that screw. And I'm just going to tell you right now, bring your own grease. Because what it is, you're going to get into that. You're going to think it's so great in the beginning. Hell yeah. Scott Daddy Jesus has given me a $200,000 truck. Well, realistically, it's about a $180,000 truck. And then when they tack on all the fees and the bullshit and all this, it's expensive, okay? Now, if that's what you got to have, if you want a two, if you want a hundred and eighty thousand dollar truck with a with a warranty, and you're willing to pay seventy thousand dollars above the price of that truck for a warranty, they got you. Sky Daddy Jesus hook you right up, okay? Now, hey, if it's the thing for you, I mean, hey, like I said at the beginning. You do what's best for you in business, okay? But here's the thing. Those Lone Mountain trucks, that would be the way I would do it. Something like that. Now, let's don't start with Lone Mountain, okay? Because I think there's better ways to buy a truck even than Lone Mountain, okay? Let's look at it. Number one, you can go to your bank. You can try your bank. Typically, if you're, if you're uh, leasing a truck from Sky Daddy Jesus, um, you're not, you don't have the greatest of credit. Let's face it. You should at least have some money in your pocket if you're leasing a truck from them because shit could hit the fan at any moment. I'm just saying. So my thing is, if you're going to go to Mega Carrier and get it, try to get it another way. Try to, number one, go through your bank and find a truck. Number two way, the way I bought my first truck, the way that I, well, the first truck that I had the title to, okay, the first successful paid off truck I had, I got through MHC Financial, the Kenworth dealerships down in the Southeast. That's the way I got my first truck. They were very easy to work with. Um, I had three years of experience. I had a stack of cash and I bought a reasonably priced truck. See, that's the thing. I didn't want an overpriced truck with a warranty. I wanted a good used truck, okay? Because I think you guys that are all about the warranty, I think you're, I think you're looking at the wrong thing here. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just saying, warranties are expensive. They're expensive. I'm just saying. And uh, but I mean, used trucks can come with a warranty as well. You don't have to have a brand new truck to have a warranty. But I bought that truck from MHC. If I and this has been going on 15 years ago, maybe more than that. Hell, I think it was 20, 2013, 2012 when I bought that truck. Ooh. God, I'm getting old. So uh, it was a third. It was a twenty-eight thousand dollar truck, if I have it right. And it was they had her. They had her on the lot for thirty. I negotiated the twenty-eight on the truck, um, and then uh, I put nine thousand dollars down. See, that's the key. MHC don't mind financing you, but they want a chunk of money down. Okay, so if you ain't got your money right, don't even worry about going over there. Just stop and get your money right first, okay? I mean, in business, I'm going to tell you, if you ain't got your money right, you know what happens? Somebody's going to roll you over, take advantage of you. Yeah, yeah, get your money right first. Because if you don't, you'll come into business, and a guy like me will be standing there going, sorry, I got to do this to you. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to do this to you. Um, it's business, baby. It ain't personal. I mean, it's just the way it is. You know what I mean? I've, I've bought a many of businesses where people were struggling and I, I hit them with, I hit them with what I needed to make money. It's not personal. It's business. Okay. I mean, if you want to sell your inventory that you gave $30,000 for and you need a check today and I need that inventory, Hey, I cut you a check for five grand right now. I don't care what you gave for it. See, that's business, okay? That's why you got to get this business mindset going when you get into this. Because if you just walk in there to, to Big Daddy Mega, Big Daddy Mega is going to abuse and use and turn you out, and then you'll have that life lesson. That's what that's what Big Daddy Mega is going to pay you in, life lessons. You never want to be paid in life lessons. Take cash money, American preferably. <laughs> I mean, hey, 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 I'll take pesos if it's enough of them, right? But uh, that's where I come from with that. Just a lot of experience uh, buying trucks, selling trucks, you know. Um, I would prefer to go through the bank or go through the dealership, for, preferably. If not, there's places like Lone Mountain that you give them a set amount down and they give you a truck. And I would rather do that. And another reason is because um, 
I'm not a big fan on a new truck. I'm just not a big fan of a new truck. Uh, let somebody else pay that FET tax. Let someone else take that depreciation hit. You know what I mean? My perfect ideal truck would be about 100,000 miles on it where somebody took a, took a haircut. I'm talking about a mullet cut. Uh, and I get to walk away with all the use of the truck at a much lower price. See? So uh, my, my thing is your first truck, your starter truck should be reasonably priced. We want to own that baby, preferably in under one year. And that's another thing with mega carriers. They're not going to let you pay it off early. They want you on the books. They do. It's just the way it is. So that's a big turnoff to me right there. If I can't pay it off early, you know what I mean? Like, Because with me and that MHC truck, I took that truck, I think it was 15 payments of like 1500 bucks or something like that. I don't remember what I owed on that truck after, you know, uh, uh, it was like 32 after interest. I uh, put 9,000 down. That left me about 20, what, 20, 21,000, somewhere in that ballpark, 22, 23, somewhere in there. I can't remember how it all worked out. I think I got them down to 28, 30, 31 with interest. It was in the low 20s. I paid that bastard off in one year. At the, at the one-year date of me getting it, I stroked them a check for what I owed on it, and I was done. And then I proceeded to take a month off, see? That's the beauty of having a truck in your driveway that you have the title to. It's like having an ATM sitting in your driveway. Go to work today? Maybe. Need some money? Yeah, I'll go to work today. You know, that's the beauty of that. And then, you know, every truck thereafter, I've always, you know, double payments as many as I can. I want a double payment. Uh, but, you know, that way it's my choice whether I make a big payment or not. That's that's the key to it for me. If I'm going to make that big payment, I want it to be my choice. And when I have a rough month or I want to take a month off and go on vacation, I got to make my standard fifteen hundred dollar a month payment. You know, most trucks that I've owned over the years, I've had like a twelve to fifteen hundred dollar a month payment on those trucks. And when I when I run a normal month, I put like twenty five hundred to three grand on it. And when I have a rough month or a holiday month, you know, uh, I pay a single payment. You know, my last truck was a 36-month loan term, and I paid that off in 20 months. So that's how I like to do it. Your first truck should be reasonably priced, at least enough. I wouldn't want to be paying on it for more than a year, 18 months at the most. You know, if you if you've paid a little more for a nicer truck, I get it. but I don't want to be in it for four or five years. I just don't. I want that thing paid off. That way I got options, okay? Um, the goal of buying a truck. Ask yourself, what is the goal of me buying this truck? Because my goal, whenever I buy a truck, it's to get the title, okay? Whether you go in and you pay cash for it, you got the title in your hand, or whether you have to make a few payments to get that title. Your goal should be to get the title, okay? I see people that go to mega carriers and they say, well, it's not my goal to pay this truck off. This is just a stepping stone. I, I feel like that's a wasted step. We gonna, you're going to go give them a bunch of money. You're going to pay on that truck, you know, because basically they probably got 150000 in that truck. And if you make those payments for three years, they done paid that truck off, you know, and then... They get to take the truck and resell it if you walk away, but they don't own it clear. So they'll sell it for fifty, sixty thousand. You just gave them fifty to sixty thousand dollars. It's not my goal is to give Mega Daddy uh, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. You know, I see those pedigree truck sales. You know, that's what they do with those trucks. They put those guys on a three-year payment plan. That's a banger of a plan. They got that truck paid off in three years. They give you a little bonus, and they take that truck and sell it for seventy, eighty thousand dollars. After they use your maintenance account to fix everything on the truck. I'm just saying. Just saying. So your goal should be to get that title. Another thing I would go. I like a monthly payment more than a weekly payment. I know if you're paying the same amount. You know 50000 versus 50000 a weekly is just as much as a monthly. But it's really not. Because when you have a, when you have a weekly payment. 
it's like a it's like a uh, elephant sitting on your back, you know. Because in trucking, you're going to have good weeks, and bad weeks, and good months and bad months. But when you have a bad month and you got a monthly payment, it's not as bad as when you have a weekly payment accruing every single week, you know. Um, just a thought. Just a thought. Um, if you can't afford the down payment, you cannot afford a truck. So the way I, I mean, that's what I tell myself. If I can't afford a down payment, I can't afford a truck. It's just facts, okay? It's that business mindset again. When you're not in a business mindset, business going to roll you over. They're going to slap them cheeks, and they're going to do whatever they want because that's what business does, okay? Don't put yourself in that position. Just speaking from experience, okay? Um, you know, Try to get it financed at the bank or the dealer. Highly recommend that. Um, you know, try to get you a truck you can afford that you want and you get it. You know what I mean? Because let me tell you this. If you buy a truck at 350, 400,000 miles, you get her paid off at 600,000 miles or so, you're going to be in a whole nother thought process, okay? Versus I've got a truck with a payment at 600,000 miles versus I have a truck at 600,000 miles that I own free and clear. Big difference. Big difference. Um, you know, if you're putting 130 to 150,000 miles on a lease purchase truck trying to make the payments, uh, where are you going to be at five years with that truck? Yeah. If you pencil it out on paper, you'll own a good used truck faster at a lower mileage than you will a new truck when you're making mega carrier payments just because of the overall payment you're going to pay for that new truck uh, it's just what it is another thing i would look at is do i have to ask anyone where i lease that truck on at that's a big one for me i don't like that now if they want a um if they want a pre-approval letter uh, saying, you know, this carrier says that I can lease it on there. I'm okay with that. That's like part of the approval process. But, um, you know, if I don't like the, if I don't like the dollar a mile freight that Sky Daddy Jesus has, um, you know, Big Daddy Mega says, uh, you got to run my load board or you got to take this freight I give you for, you know, a buck 60 a mile. And I don't like that. Do I have to ask permission to take that truck somewhere else and lease it on? That that's that's a big one for me. Um, you know, if I'm making the payment, I want to be able to move and you know move around with it a little bit. You know, it's just it's just one of those things to think about. You know, um, it may not be a deal breaker for you. I mean, I know uh, there's some of the big carriers that you can take your you can take your lease purchase truck to another carrier. You know, you can do stuff like that. And I see a lot of people on YouTube uh, that do that. They go from, you know, uh, one mega carrier to another mega carrier to another mega carrier to another mega carrier. And as I tell people about mega carriers is you're not changing anything other than the name on the side of the door. That's all you're changing. Maybe the name on the trailer you're pulling. But I had a buddy of mine that went to start it out for one mega carrier, and I told him, I said, if you switch companies, you're not switching, you're not switching your layout, you're not switching the mindset. They're going to treat you like crap. They're going to run the hell out of you, disrespect you, and then you're going to switch over to another mega carrier, and they're going to do the same thing. It's just, it's just the way I see it. I've seen it too many times in this industry. That's kind of how it works out. So keep that in mind. If, you know, you're jumping mega carrier to mega carrier, maybe it's time to find uh, a better carrier, you know. Uh, I tell people all the time, when you Google search, do, 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 uh, you know, if you don't know how Google works, every mega carrier out there pays to be at the top of the search. You know, that's how Google makes money. They sell search words. So when you type in trucking lease purchase, woo, let's see who's got that money to pay Google, but they ain't going to pay you. 
you know, it'll be uh, Stevens Transport, CRST, CR England, uh, Prime, uh, Trans Am. You know, insert 20 mega carriers. Just pop, 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 pop. You got you to gotta dig deeper. You got to get off the Google, you know, and you got to go talk to some people about some carriers. Um, you know, that's how I did it. That's how I found a couple carriers in my life that, uh, honestly, I would have never left the one I was at, but uh, I switched from living in Tennessee to living in Minnesota, and uh, I like a, I like a carrier that's near where I'm at. It's got things going on where I'm at, you know. That's kind of how I do it. But uh, is this the correct way for everybody? No, but this is just the way I think about it. Um, you know, maybe I can help you avoid some of those missteps and those stepping stones and get you on into a better career faster get you to own in a truck faster maybe but that's it everybody i appreciate you watching take care of each other out there smash that like button become a subscriber if you found uh, value in this video and take care of each other out there remember people are more important than trucking Hi, I want to talk to you real quick about the ES Advantage card. Do you need discounts at major truck stop chains? They got them. Do you need discounts on shop rates at TA and Love's? They got them. Tire discounts. They even got health insurance now. Click the link down below. Easy application. No credit check. Sign up. They give you a call back. They'll take all your information, and you'll be in the network. How important is Wi-Fi? Very important. That's why I use Nomad Internet in my truck. Yes, sir. This is a Wi-Fi modem that you put in your truck. Check them out. Links below. This thing gets signal when my phone will not. So if you're ever stuck at that truck stop with no signal, you'll wish you had some Nomad in your truck.